Getting a better look at where the 2024 presidential candidates stand financially. Alexandria Hoff explains how the bankrolls are stacking up after critical summer campaign events. Running a presidential campaign is an expensive endeavor, and the latest round of campaign finance reports is causing some concern on both sides of the aisle. Thank you. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in Iowa over the weekend, working the campaign trail and feeling confident about his momentum building towards the Iowa caucuses. I have no interest in managing our nation's decline. I want to reverse our nation's decline. After reporting an impressive $20 million in fundraising, the DeSantis campaign now has to answer to questions about spending. A DeSantis campaign source has confirmed to Fox News reporting by Politico that the campaign is now shedding several staff members. DeSantis said this is part of campaign process. I think clearly you see um, an effort to, to create these narratives. I think the good thing about it is Republican primary voters are very smart. Uh, they know where these corporate outlets stand on the political spectrum. Former President Trump brought in $35 million in the second quarter. The Biden-Harris campaign received $72 million, but that includes fundraising from the Democratic National Committee and other fundraising entities. Still, the Biden campaign says... There's no hiding the stunning and embarrassing lack of enthusiasm for the Republican candidates running for president. Now, looking at cash on hand, the former president leads the field, followed by Senator Tim Scott, then President Biden's campaign. What these numbers don't do is solidify which Republicans will qualify for the debate stage next month. Yesterday, former President Trump indicated how he's leaning. When you have a big lead, you don't do it. And we have a lead of 50 and 60 points in some cases, and uh, some of these people are at zero. At least one GOP challenger, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, says he expects to see Trump on the debate stage on August 23rd in Milwaukee. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff for WDRB News.